You are about to receive the very first Superstars of Small Business Award from the Making It Institute and the Boeing Company. This um, afternoon and this morning was so great and inspirational. Uh, what I got from this workshop was just useful information. Each and every one of their stories were very inspirational, so I'm definitely walking, uh, walking away with a lot of uh, good knowledge and, and a lot of good ideas. I was thrilled by the amount of information, experience, knowledge, emotions, thoughts, and guidance that was shared in the first event. It's important for me that business owners have a chance to learn from other business owners. And our criteria for superstars has been business owners who have built their enterprises to $10 million or more gross per year. Because they have a degree of determination, expertise, and the finer points of business development that up-and-coming businesses can learn from. I really liked uh, Karen Kaplan's idea, writing down uh, your three top priorities and um, really focusing on, on that organization. I come in and I only write down the three most important things. That's it. And it sits by, right next to my, my pad of paper that I keep all my phone calls on. I have a pad that is just things to do. And that's all I do all day long. I only do three things. What if in a week you could accomplish and complete your top 15 most important things in a week? Okay, so you can imagine. Okay, and then do it for a month. So 20 days in a month, work days, if you work five days a week, times three, 60 things. I'm telling you, and, I, and I'm, this is not a joke, I ran out of things to do. I've learned that being alert to opportunity is, is, is critical. Because when opportunity knocks, she's a very impatient guest. She usually does not come dressed with a sign saying, this is it, choose me now. She's very modest. Maybe she's wearing hard work clothes, or maybe she has a lot of risk or a fear or it's the timing is poor. The minute you get on social media and you ask, start asking questions, you're gonna have people answering and sometimes the answering is not exactly what you're looking for. But now it's two-way communication happening right now and that's exciting if you're in a small business. Small businesses have to apply to the right person, not just the right institution in order to get service properly. What, the, what I do at the SBDC is I look at your needs, I define what you, what, what you qualify for, what you need, where you should go, and I try and introduce you to the right person at that organization. Understand the investment you make when you call yourself a business owner. Understand you're not the only one investing in your business. The person who gave you a reference because they believed you could deliver is investing in your business. Always continue to learn, to educate ourselves, okay? Because uh, like I said, the English and the culture, and then how can we continue to learn? That's the most important thing for us. I think that's critical. I took the tips, I, I value everything, the, the golden nuggets, the pills of poison, the everything. The one idea that, that came as um, a result of of, of listening is about giving more value in these critical times instead of looking how we can save on cost which of course is always important keeping your prime cost as low as possible but how to actually add more true value and perceived value in the product and service that you're offering well, what I would implement would be the social networking you know I believe that you know Google online that's just the key for any small business to survive uh, something that I'll be using in my business is definitely listening to customers and what they want their needs and exactly so I can tailor my uh, business to them that way they can get the product they want and I can uh, provide those services for them we're already at the making it Institute looking forward to the next superstars of small business